We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. This time we're looking at another Galaxies of Adventure figure and we're looking at Yoda. This one was uh, gracefully provided by Bulletproof Villain. Uh, they're still in stock. Uh, really, really happy to get this one. Uh, yeah, this line's pretty much dried up here in Australian retail. Um, so it's nice that a few online guys are getting these. Um, so I'm really still hoping to get a hold of that Ahsoka and the uh, 222nd, maybe even Darth Maul and the Jedi Luke. So just a few that I'd really love to get a hold of. But uh, Yoda looks great. I'm a big Yoda fan. It looks looks like a really cool figure. So uh, without further ado, let's crack it open and have a look. All right, here is Yoda, and he is a cool little figure. I really like this one a lot. He is super duper cool. I really love the sort of the animated style. Um, that's what's really getting me with these Galaxy of Adventures figures at the moment. I just reviewed the Boba Fett last week, and uh, yeah, that one was absolutely fantastic. And this one is just, it looks so good. <laughs> it's really, really cool. The accessories are great. What I do love about this figure that he does come with this little stand. You know, nice and simple. A couple of pegs. Why Hasbro can't produce something like this for the Black Series is beyond me. Um, wouldn't take much to do slight variations of this with, uh, you know, a couple of more pegs wider, maybe at the edges a little bit further, so you can have the slightly wider st stance of a Black Series figure. So yeah, pegs are nice and tightly there. He sits nicely. He also comes with his lightsaber, as you can see in his hand, which is you know, I was really, really grateful that he can hold it with two hands. That's such a great display option for this little guy. Um, but yeah, really nice tight grip, which is great. Nice tight grip on the other hand as well. He also comes with his cane. Which also fits nicely, so you can display him with the cane. And also, in place of the lightsaber on this hand, you can have him repelling some force energy. Um, it does, there are sort of molding marks in it, so you have him sort of repulsing that sort of force energy from Sidious. And that's a cool look too. I really like that a lot. A lot. Being that they sort of really only produce sort of main characters. I don't know that we'll ever see a Sidious come out in this line, but uh, if it was to happen, it'd be cool to see him come with like a lightning so you could have these two displayed together. But yeah, he's uh, just a fantastic looking little figure. And uh, yeah, I don't dislike any of the display options because um, this looks fantastic, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can definitely mix it up and change it around a little bit. I personally will keep him with the lightsaber. It's just, it's just cool, honestly. But the articulation's great. You know, he's got a little bit of movement in the head, which is pretty good. Sort of side to side, up and down, hinges in the uh, shoulders and el elbows. Uh, the wrists do just swivel, um, sort of a swivel of the waist, uh, kind of, <laughs> that's where we'll get to the action feature in a minute, um, hinges in the knees, which is really great, and then the hip articulation, so you can uh, you know, pry those legs out, I've been doing some crazy, crazy moves, <laughs> crazy Yoda, Attack of the Clones moves, so we'll look at his little, uh, little gimmick all of these figures do come with like a little play feature so this one you hold him down you spin him around get it to click in place it does hold they're not the best for the play features but this is basically what it does you just pop his head down and the cape gets in the way anyway but yeah he's meant to do sort of a Quick 180 spin. I'll try it again. If I just hold it, click in place. There, 
quick little quick little spin but again it doesn't take away from the uh, figure itself as a display piece uh, on your shelf looks great I really do like this little guy yeah they're really really killing it with these figures I, I know they're not aimed at people my age <laughs> um, but you know they're making some cool figures I uh, dig the uh, Disney toy box figures that were coming out at Disney stores a few years ago um, that line sort of being cancelled this sort of opened the way for this uh, Galaxy of Adventures line of figures which is which is just a cool little alternative um, little side collection to have there's some cool, really great characters out there and yeah like I said I'd love to get my high ends on Ahsoka uh, Darth Maul the 330 second clone um, and Jedi Luke there's, there's four other figures that I'd really love to get hold of so let me know in the comments what you think of this figure um, I'm pretty pretty pumped about these ones this one's great this was, I've always loved Yoda ever since I was a little kid so yeah if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and hit the notification bell so my videos get sent straight to your inbox and uh, your apps and stuff can alert you that they have arrived on the YouTube on the YouTubes all right folks thanks very much for watching to my next video may the force be with you always we're a little rushed so if you'll just get on board we'll get out of here